Well, now to a Fox News alert and tragedy on the ship made famous in the movie Captain Phillips as two Americans are found dead ab aboard the Merce, Alabama. Peter Ducey is following the story live from Washington. Peter? Jenna, we know that midday on the 17th, so two days ago, the Maersk, Alabama pulled into Port Victoria in the Seychelles in the Indian Ocean just east of the Horn of Africa. And one day later, yesterday, the afternoon of the 18th, these two American security contractors were found dead in the same stateroom. A spokesman for Maersk says they don't have any indication as to how these contractors died, but that the Maersk, Alabama is now at anchor and holding while local authorities investigate. These two former Navy SEALs were working for the Virginia Beach-based Trident Group. We've reached out to Trident for details about what services they were providing the Maersk, Alabama. Their website advertises anti-piracy and maritime security, specifically armed security and consulting for the world's largest shipping companies. Trident has been around for 14 years and was founded by SEALs and senior naval surface warfare officers. And the ship these two Trident contractors died on was famously boarded by Somali pirates in April 2009, almost five years ago. Those pirates then held the Maersk, Alabama's Captain Richard Phillips for ransom before Navy SEALs killed several of the hostage takers and saved Captain Phillips' life. Following the Phillips saga, the Maersk, Alabama remained in service. It's more than 500 feet long and 80 feet wide. We're told the families of the contractors who died have been notified. Jenna. A lot more to that story, Shirley. Uh, Peter, thank you.